Hey everyone. So I wanted to share a nice little kind of cool down yoga flow today. It's gonna be a great cool down uh, if you just finished your running workout or maybe a leg day workout. So we're gonna do some hip opening today. We're gonna work on some hamstring work, some low back work. So if you have any issues with any of the following areas that I just said, uh, feel free to grab an extra yoga mat, a blanket if you need one, maybe a yoga walk if you have one sitting around. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first movement we're gonna get in today, we're just gonna get a little warm. I know you may have just come off of your workout like me, but never hurts just to kind of move nice and slow a little bit. So we're gonna start in a hands and knees position. We're gonna call this tabletop. And what I'm looking for are wrists directly under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and toes tucked underneath the heels. So this is what we call active, active piggies. Okay, so toes tucked underneath. Now, if you have some wrist issues, feel free to grab a blanket, stick that under your wrist. Maybe you need some blocks, that's fine too. If you wanna go on your fist, totally okay. This is your, your choice, all right? So choose your own adventure. And all we're gonna do today is we're gonna start with some cat-cow flow, flowing in between the two, rounding the back as much as we can, pressing through the shoulder blades. Inhale extending through the chest, opening the chest, bring the shoulders down away from the ears. We're just gonna cycle through two of these, not too long, at your own pace. Play with the positions a little bit here. Find the one that feels good for you. Maybe we open through the side body in these, we move around, maybe we draw some circles here. Yoga isn't always one way, you know. You gotta do what feels good. Do what's good for your body. Everyone's a little different. Everyone's shape's a little different. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not as flexible as some people, you know. We're all different. So everyone's gonna feel a little differently here. Keep cycling through the two. Those toes active underneath your heels. Maybe we get a little rock in there. We're just gonna do one more. One more of each. We're gonna return into a neutral spine, so a nice flat back here. We're gonna go into something some of you know probably as, as bird dog, some of you know as balancing table. It's gonna, you know, this has many different names. What I'm looking for ultimately is we're going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg, making a nice, beautiful line between the two, focusing on our breathing. I like to hold my breath here and exhale. Squeeze your abs as you come down and alternate to the other side. Keep alternating between the two positions, drawing that straight line, getting some energy through the fingers, through the heel. Just because it's yoga doesn't mean it has to be slow. Just because it's a cool down doesn't mean that we shouldn't be thinking about what our body's doing. We should always be mindful of our movement. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze the core on the way down. Let's do one more each side here. All right. Now, from this tabletop position, what we're going to do, I'm going to walk my feet back. Hop up into plank. All right. I'm going to spread my feet apart to stay here. Here, shift the hips up and back towards the sky. Down dog. All right. Now I'm going to get a nice little calf pump in here. And my hammies are feeling a little tight. My legs are they're feeling it. You know, when you just get done a workout. Things are things are tired. So I'm just going to pump a little bit here through the calf, through the heel. Keep my shoulders engaged, my chest is open. 
I'm trying to draw my belly button towards my thighs. Keep breathing. Breathing is important. We like breathing. We like breath. And when you're ready, you can return to plank. Go ahead and walk. Feet in towards your hands. And now what I want you to do, I want you to take a nice big inhale. Keep your back flat, knees bent slightly. We're gonna lift up and a halfway lift. Feel free here. If you need to rest your hands on your thighs, maybe on the front of your shins, totally fine. We're no judgment, no judgment here. We're all feeling a little, a little toasty today, and that's all right. One more big deep breath. Exhale. All the way down into a nice forward fold. If you need a block here, go ahead and grab one for assistance. If you need to hang on to your shins, hang on to your shins. I just want you to find your position. Inhale one more time. Back up, halfway. Nice strong back here, keeping the chest open. Keeping the back nice and flat, a little bit of bent knee here, sitting back in the hips, almost like we're sitting back in chair. Big deep breath, inhale, all the way up. Now I'm gonna move right over here so y'all can see me, kinda, all the way up. Big deep stretch, exhale. Back down to the floor, all the way. Back up, halfway lift, inhale, halfway. Exhale down. Inhale, we're going all the way up. Big deep breath, inhale. We're gonna step those feet apart, nice and wide. Exhale, reach down. Now, you can't get all the way to the floor. If you don't want to get all the way to the floor, I get it. Grab a block, put your block down here. Support yourself on your block. If you feel like going side to side, great, I love it, do it. Get that side to side. Keep the knees slightly bent here if you need to. If you just wanna hang out in the middle, drop the neck, hug those elbows, and get a little movement. Relax, everything here should be nice and relaxed. One more big depth. Big deep breath, big breath in this position. Exhale. And we're gonna walk in, heel toe, heel toe, all the way in. And from this position, we're gonna walk back out into plank. All right, welcome back to plank. Now. From this plank position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right foot. Boop. We're gonna bring this guy all the way up, just outside of your right hand. All right, we're just gonna hang out here for a minute. Take that back foot, press that top of that back foot down into the floor if you'd like. I prefer it this way. If you'd like a block here, maybe take a little bit of pressure off, go for it. If you wanna open up through that left hip a little bit more, go ahead and take a block. Come up to that nice, tall, long lunge position. Nice little runner's lunge here. If you'd like to come up and just get a nice extension, inhale, extend back, and exhale. Making a nice sandwich. Hand, sandwich, hand, foot, hand. And we're just gonna sit here for just one more big deep breath. One more big deep breath. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back foot, tuck my toes, boom, underneath, active toes here. I'm gonna start to shift my hips back towards my left foot and keeping my right toes, boom, towards my nose, active piggies here. All right, I'm gonna keep this knee just slightly bent and I'm gonna keep my hips shifted back so I can get a nice little hamstring stretch here. Now you can feel free to come forward if you like. 
What I'm most concerned about is feeling that hamstring, not directly behind the knee. I don't want a straight leg here. Slight bent knee. If you'd like to use the blocks to help open your chest so we can sit back a little bit more, go ahead and do that. But again, find what works for you. I like having my hands set a little wider here so I have a little bit of a wider base so I can sit back in that hamstring. Find your position. All right, keep the piggies active down here. We want to keep the toes up. That's important. One more big deep breath. We're going to place that foot down. We're going to shift our weight forward. I'm going to bring this right hand back inside of that right foot. Now, you have a choice here. Choose your own adventure. Big deep breath. We're going to reach behind us. We're going to grab that back left foot. Now, some people may get quad cramp, hamstring cramp. It happens. That's okay if you need a towel. So we don't have to come up all the way. I'm not pulling very hard on that back foot. I'm not trying to yank that sucker up. If you need a towel or a blanket, wrap it around so we get just a little lift here. And I can squeeze that left glute and try and drive that left hip into the floor. I'm just looking for that little bit more of extension back there. And we're just gonna hang out down here just for a little bit. Big deep breath. One more, one more breath, one more. And as we exhale this time, control that foot back down, bring that hand back around to the inside. We're going to lift the back knee up, boom. All right, we're gonna take this right foot, step it back. You can hit a downward dog here if you'd like. Ooh. Bend the knees just slightly, nice little calf pump. It's okay to feel things moving, ain't nothing wrong with that. We're gonna switch, we're gonna do the left side. Choo, choo, choo. Left side, all right? So, back in the plank, lift that left leg, boom. He comes up. I'm gonna start on the outside of my left hand. We're just gonna hang out here just for a little bit. Big deep breath. Play with the hips a little bit. Again, you could be some, like there could be some tightness happening. Maybe you had a weird run or a really good run and now you're feeling it just a, just a little, you know? Couple of big deep breaths here. I'm gonna press that foot into the floor a little bit more. One more big deep breath with me. Now, we're gonna do it again. If you wanna get that extension, inhale, arms come up. We can extend just a little bit. Open through the chest. Try and sink a little deeper into that stretch, into those hips. Letting the quad talk to you a little bit on that right side, maybe even on that left side. Depends on how tight you are. Exhale. Hand sandwich. All right. We're going to walk our hands back. Shift the hips back. Active piggies. Active piggies, keep the knees slightly bent. Find your position. Get that hamstring, breathe into that hamstring. Every time you exhale here, I want you to think about just letting that hamstring melt. Just let it like go. Imagine that muscle just letting go and relaxing. Sinking your hips a little more with each exhale. Play with your position. Find your block if you need it. If you need a little bit more uh, padding underneath the knee, go ahead and do that. We're going to be here for one more big deep breath. Exhale, drop the foot forward. 
Bring that hand on the inside of that foot. All right, we're going for that back foot. Big deep breath, inhale. We're gonna turn, reach. Ooh, it's a little tighter on this side. Exhale, find your position. Maybe we don't grab this side. Maybe we grab just that big toe when we hang on. If you're cramping, let go. Work through your cramp, pause the video, take some deep breaths. Or maybe you just sit back in that lunge again. That's okay. If we just want to sink back into that lunge, totally fine. Big deep breath. Let's stay for one more. Release, nice and easy to the floor. Yay, we're getting there. All right, we're gonna bring that back knee up. Boom, back into plank. Catch a down dog here if you feel like you need it. You don't have to, but you know, the opportunity is here, may as well take it. Calf pump nice and easy. We're gonna take the front leg, or front leg, or our right leg. So, boom, kick that right leg up. We're gonna swing it down. Bring the knee towards the hands. We're gonna drop into pigeon. Now, pigeon, knee comes up. We're gonna try and keep a nice straight line with that shin. Pigeon's one of those things where it can get a little complicated. Now, I don't need your, your hip to touch the floor. We like to get the hip down, right? But not everybody can get there. So, fast scoot around here. If I'm not feeling it today, if my hips are feeling a little janky, I'm gonna take a block, stick it right underneath that hip so I can have that support and I can push into that block but keep my chest up so I'm still getting the benefit of the stretch, I'm just doing it a little bit differently. So you can take advantage of this time, grab your block, maybe an extra yoga mat, a blanket, something to prop you up so that you can sit into this stretch a little bit more and actually get the benefit of that nice, that nice gift that is pigeon. We're just gonna stay here for a little bit longer and just breathe. I'm gonna push into that block a little bit more. And when you're ready, what we're gonna do, I wanna get just a little bit more pigeon head. Ooh, yeah. Because we're gonna be active, we're gonna push into the floor with our toesies back here. Nice active toes. All right, I'm gonna push up, squeeze my right glute as I bring myself back down into down dog. Pump here a little bit, cause I can. We're gonna kick my left foot back, scooch back into down dog, or in, yeah, into down dog. Take our left foot, drive the knee back up, boom. Right back into that pigeon. Right back into that pigeon. Big deep breath here. Again, find your position. I'm feeling, I'm feeling not so great on this side, so I'm gonna grab my block. I'm gonna stick it back there. I'm gonna use that block to support me so I can get in a better position for my hip today. Keeping my chest up, breathing into that hip, breathing into that left side. Keeping this right side still active, even though it's not doing the work, still keeping it active. Let's breathe here. A couple more deep breaths for me. When you're ready, remove your block, remove your blanket. Maybe we get a nice little rock here, back and forth. We're gonna active, be active. We're, we are gonna active. That's what we are in yoga, active. We're gonna tuck the toes again underneath the heels. Press that back leg up. Abs are tight as we press back into plank. Hit that down dog one more time if you need it. 
Pump the calves. Nice stretch here. Good things happening back here. Back into plank. Knees to floor. All right, we're almost done. I promise, almost. We're gonna come to a nice seated position on your mat. Grab a block if you need it. These come in very, very handy for what we're about to do next. We've done a lot for the hips. We've done a lot for the back. We've done a lot for the hammies. What I want you to do here is, again, we're gonna find the position that works for you. I'm gonna spread the feet apart. I'm gonna keep my knees slightly bent. Big deep breath as we inhale, arms come up, exhale. As we reach forward. Now, everyone's gonna be different here. I'm feeling tight today. I'm feeling a little restricted. So why I tell people to grab the block, and again, keep the knees slightly bent is we can get a little bit more out of this stretch by propping ourselves up on that block. Feet still spread nice and wide, knees slightly bent. Inhale, exhale, reach. It's gonna look a lot different, but the stretch is gonna allow us to get a little bit deeper into those, into those bad boys back there. So if you don't have a block, use a blanket, couch cushion, something, if you need it. If you're feeling like, yeah, I could get, I could get a little deeper if I just had that little bit extra bit of, you know, oomph, you know? But let's just hang out here for a second. Relax the upper back here. I'm letting mine round a little bit. If you want another block in front of you to keep the chest up, by all means, do it. Again, find your position. It's all about you. You're almost done. Big deep breath. One more inhale, exhale. Sink as much as you can in this last exhale. Try and get all that air out. As we go into our next inhale, we're gonna walk our hands up back to a nice tall position. Go ahead and come off that block. And we're just gonna take the last little bit and just breathe. Now, you can do this a couple different ways. If you wanna do this seated with your back against the wall, great. I like it best, I think it works best. If we lay down on our back, Feet can either be pressed against the floor. Go ahead and put your palms up. I'm gonna put the soles of my feet together to relax just through, through everything that we've, we've done today. We've done a lot of work in the last few minutes here. But palms up. Take a couple big deep belly, belly, belly breaths. Woo, it is time for some, some cool down now. Belly breaths with me here. Let's do five together as we inhale. Try to expand our belly as much as we can. Exhale. Get all of that air out. Inhale again. Exhale. If you need to change your position of your feet, Go ahead and do so if you'd like to, too. I'm, I'm no fidgety. I like to take a big deep breath. Inhale. One more big deep breath with me. Hands on your belly, you must actually feel this breath. Big deep inhale, ready, go. And exhale. All right. 
You did it. Very good job. You roll to your side if you'd like. Go ahead and come on up or go ahead and take this time. Stay down on the floor and do some more breath work. Nice, big, deep breath work, belly breath. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you feel as good as I do right now. I hope your back feels great. I hope your hips are feeling good. I hope you're feeling nice and limber. Thank you for joining me today with this nice little runner's cool down flow. And uh, we'll see you next time.